And good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. We begin tonight with breaking news in Northeast Baltimore. One person is dead, two others hurt after a shooting tonight. It happened around six along Bowley's Lane. Police say an officer working in the area heard gunshots and ran to the scene. Authorities say the officer saw a person firing shots, but that person got away. Police say it is not clear if that person was the one who shot the other three people or if he was firing back at somebody else. Police Commissioner Michael Harrison urging anybody with information on this shooting to come forward. Now we have this incident where one is dead and two are injured simply because people want to solve their conflicts with gunfire. That is why it's so imperative, so important, so critical that members of this community, people who live and were out here, give us a call right away or you can do it anonymously. You can leave an anonymous tip by calling Metro Crime Stoppers, the number right there on your screen, 1-8667-LOCKUP. Well, just 30 minutes after that triple shooting, another man was shot and killed along Edgewood Avenue in southwest Baltimore. At least 41 people have lost their lives to violence in Baltimore City so far this year. Well, nearly one week after a 17-year-old Baltimore City student was shot and killed in Towson, he is being remembered tonight. The community gathered for a vigil in his honor. Fox 45 Vincent Hill was at that vigil. He joins us live now with more on that and what's being done to curb the violence in Towson, including security cameras. Vincent. Yeah, Mary, that vigil, very emotional. And it happened just up the hill a week ago tomorrow. But one police expert says cameras are not the end all be all when it comes to fighting crime. Candles, hey, balloons, here. tears, and stolen dreams. He was everything. Treshawn Harmon's brother grieving. Right when I heard that he died, I shut down. Tonight, a vigil honoring the 17 year old boy shot and killed in Towson last Monday. We have had some unfortunate, tragic incidents that have happened. Um, but we want to prove that that's the anomaly. A recent rash of crimes has Towson residents fearing that anomaly is becoming a reality. That's where this town is heading, unfortunately, and it's supposed to be a nice college and a nice town. Treshawn's murder last Monday, a shooting Super Bowl Sunday, and several sexual assaults last month. Baltimore County Police Chief Dennis Delp says he has a plan. Using technologies um, like a license plate reader, additional cameras, um, and that they may be covert or non-covert cameras in the area to assist with um, de de deterrence and apprehension purposes. Part of that plan already in place, according to Nancy Harford with the Towson Chamber of Commerce. So over the last several months, we've added 50 new cameras to 50 buildings. There's over 95% of the cameras are in over uh, and in the businesses in the Towson area. But do cameras and license plate readers work as a deterrent against crime? I don't think that's going to make people feel safe. That doesn't make me feel safe looking up and just seeing a camera. Law enforcement analyst Melissa Pinkleton says no. Pinkleton pointing out cameras themselves are not the best eyewitness. First of all, they have to be angled and shooting at the right particular vantage point of the crime that you're looking for. She says even if cameras do capture a crime, it does not guarantee it will lead to a suspect. People will sit there and think about the movies or, you know, that CSI effect of, oh, it's on camera. They're going to have that pixelated to the inf and it's going to be perfect and it, they're going to be able, it's going to be crisp and clean and it's not. Pinkleton says the data shows criminals don't fear cameras. There are more cameras out there in this country right now between poll cameras from police departments, uh, security cameras from buildings, ring cameras. There are more out there in this country right now than there ever have been. And our crime numbers are higher than they have been in years. And speaking of cameras, Baltimore County police are still searching for video to lead to Treshawn's killer. Meanwhile, Pinkleton says more boots on the ground are the true deterrent to crime. According to the police union, Baltimore County police are short 200 officers. For now, we're live in Towson. Vincent Hill, Fox 45 News. Vincent, thanks. Fox 45 News has been following the violence in Towson for weeks. You can find all of our past reporting on our website, foxbaltimore.com.